It's a rainy day. There's no excuses. I'm hiding, hiding in the little lean-to. Got my block target set up out there about 22 yards. We're gonna get some work in. Went ahead and waxed my bowstring really good whenever it's a rainy day like this. I Even if I've already had it waxed, I wanna double up on it, make sure, you know, cause if you're hunting in these conditions, you need to be prepared for it. So it's good to practice in it. It's good to keep your gear ready for it. I try to shoot every day. And it is a rainy, windy day. Now, obviously it's it's good to practice standing out in the rain, but I mean, I've been walking all over with this thing out in the rain. My bow's soaked, uh, my arrows are soaked, my finger tabs soaked. So this would kind of mimic the conditions I'd be in if I was sitting in a blind or something right now and I had a little bit of protection from the rain. But the main thing is to get used to shooting while your bow's wet shooting while it's windy, shooting through the rain, and today's a perfect day for some practice. Woo! 22 yards, smoked it! So as you can see, a little weather doesn't affect anything. I smoked it right through the center of that block target. Matter of fact, I got a clean pass through it, 22 yards, and it stuck in the ground back behind it. So, uh, yeah, this is the kind of practice I need. I really, I really enjoy hunting in this. And honestly, this is some of the weather that I enjoy hunting in the most uh, because it's a lot easier to hide your movement. It's a lot easier to hide your sound. As long as you're playing the wind, a day like today is beautiful for hunting. My feathers are a little, a little wet. I need to get a new target. I about wore this one out through the middle. Here we go again, 22 yards. High left, but we still got him. Now I know, I know shooting with compound, you're gonna get a lot more kinetic energy. You're gonna get a lot more speed. Uh, but I have found I'm shooting a pretty heavy bow. This is 65 pounds. It's the Hoyt Satori, 65 pounds at 28 inches. I'm drawing to about 29, 29 and a half. So I'm pushing that 70 mark, 70 pounds. And I'm really shooting a fairly light arrow for that weight. I'm only shooting about 460 grains right now, but I'm probably gonna probably gonna try to up it. I've got some brass inserts coming. I'm going to put a little more weight up front, add probably another 100 grains, get me up to about a 560 grain arrow. But even with this 460 grain arrow out of a 67 pound bow, I'm getting pass throughs on a block target. And even whenever I hit spots in the target that aren't wore out, it's sticking through half the arrow out the back of the target. I have no doubt this setup with a good broad head will work wonders on a deer. I haven't got to try it yet, but I'm really hoping that soon I'll get the chance. Also, I have taken the time to tune this, adjusting my brace height, adjusting my, my arrow weight. Uh, so, I'm getting really good uh, arrow flight right now, and that helps tremendously with penetration. Here we go again, 22 yards. Now we got her moved into 15 yards. We're gonna work on a little closer range. This is kind of ideal hunting range right here, but I like to practice beyond that. It sure makes it a lot easier when you move it back up close. 15 yards, here we go. When your bow is tuned properly, these wet fletchings don't really make a lot of difference. 